that too bright. So tired. Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So in this vlog, I wanted to show you guys the beginning of my Turkey tour. I'm going for two major two reasons. The first being is obviously for a cosmetic surgery. I do not wish to be an influence to anyone that is young and that, I don't know, this is a really, really weird topic to be talking about, but I'm going to get a certain type of cosmetic. Feels a bit talking about this. I'm going to go get a cosmetic surgery Done. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my this feels weird my breast surgery so yeah get ready for those those vlogs but other than that I'm going to go get treated for my sickness which is uh, multiple cirrhosis I have been diagnosed two years ago I have been battling with it for the last five years I think ever since 2013 2014-ish is when my symptoms started to start but um, my dad thinks there is treatment possibly with the professors and all of that experts and his friends and whatnot that are involved in this industry and in this field so I'm going to be treated in Ankara if all goes well then hallelujah if not uh, I will be treated here in Sydney so yeah I have been seeing a specialist but I mean we live every day as it comes but yeah today the purpose of today's vlog is to show you guys what I have been packing so I'll be showing you guys little snippets of me packing and little montages of me packing my luggage and everything and also show you guys what I have bought and all of that I will be doing a what's in my carry case vlog type of thing um, I'm thinking of doing that in this vlog so it'll be further on I I'm planning on these vlogs to be anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. I'm so sorry if it gets boring, but I've just chosen to make them a lot more. I, I forgot what I was up to, but I just made a cup of coffee. But yeah, so that's going to be the reason of this vlog. I'm going to show you guys what I got, what I'm taking, my luggage. Sorry, my dogs just ate food, so they're sucking. Hey, baby boy. Hey, baby boy. Did you like my luck? Come. Hello. Come, 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 come. Say hello to the camera. Hey. Touch. It's actually looking through my bags at the moment as I'm recording. So let's get into the packing. First off, starting off with the makeup. First off, starting off with the makeup. I did go ahead and I bought this bag for eight dollars. I think from Kmart. It's just a zip ziplock bag. But obviously, my makeup doesn't fit in there. So I thought of getting something a little bit more space efficient if you will so I ended up getting one of these from Kmart you open it up to have like cases like that and you can hang it on the door and whatever but the main reason why is because I can put my makeup in that section my palettes and my brushes and whatnot and if need be I can also carry stuff in this bag as well so let's go ahead and let's prepare these two together right now that first coffee anyway all right so i'm taking the mario Badescu skin care facial spray with aloe vera herbs and rose water as my setting spray and like a facial mist hydrating mist i've heard a lot about it and i have used a little bit of it ever since i got it which was a few weeks ago and honestly i do i really do like it so another thing obviously i'm taking my australian special flawless pressed powder i am in the shade medium tan but i do want to try the deep tan or something it's another tan shade that i really want to try out because i do think my tan shade like the bondi sands ultra dark tan is this one's a bit too sort of it, it's a bit too pale ish i mean i do get away with it but i do want to try a darker just a little just a tiny one one shade darker you know so i'm taking that with me touch it and then as a quick palette for a bronzer as a quick palette or trio palette for a bronzer i'm taking the rimmel rimmel london sun shimmer three in one shimmering bronzer in the shade double zero two goddess i have mentioned bronze goddess sorry i have mentioned this on my instagram before it's a bronzer no it's a contour bronzer and a highlight as well it's really really good i do use this on the days where i just chuck on makeup i'd use it for my cheeks my highlight and whatever and i don't want to use blush and then i go ahead and i use these shades on my eyelids as well i do have a video which i will pop up right here and link down below so if you guys want to go check that out go ahead and do it after this video obviously i've got to take my benefit it's potent eye cream i'm just i'm stuck up for these little things so moving on to the palettes that i'm taking i've chosen to take my zoeva rose golden palette and also my zoeva coca cola blend palette because i can't live without my warm tones boys stop it stop 
For my highlight, I've taken my BH Cosmetics Black White Highlighting Palette only because I absolutely love every single shade in here. I don't need another highlighter by any brand, anything. I don't need anything other than this palette as a go-to. I am in love with it. For longer benefit, do I need to say much? No, I'm taking this little bad boy because it is a stunner. I use it every single day ever since I bought it and I'm just in love with it. I didn't know why people used to rave on so much about it, but now I know the jazz, now I know why, now I know how addicting this little thing can get. $51 for what? 8 grams, but f worth it. For my mascaras though, I do have three that I should like, I die for. Actually, I die for a lot of them, but like these are the ones that I reach out for every single day and they make my lashes like extra long. So one of them is the Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. So I'm definitely taking them with me. And from Essence, I am in love, like the amount of times I have bought these two products for them. Pablo, stop! That's my luggage. The amount of times I have bought these two eyeshadow um, mascaras is a never ending story. And they're cheap, they're about five, six dollars. So one of them is the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Mascara, and the other one is the Essence I Love X or I Heart Extreme Volume Mascara. They are a stunner. So call me a hoarder, call me extreme, you know, obsessed, but I'm going to take four different foundations with me. One of them is one of my recent favorites, and I have popped that in my February and March favorites. Actually, all of these are except for it cosmetics ones is in my favorites boy is the um the body shop matte face skin clarifying foundation in the shade zero double swipe nutmeg so that's that one over there and i have meant yeah i did mention these in my favorite then the other one's the sephora second skin technology foundation in the shade 33 or medium and then obviously my maybelline matte and polish in the shade three turn sun beige so let's move into concealer so i am taking a fair few you guys know that i do like to stick to like if I'm using one foundation, I've got to use its matching concealer. So I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10 Light. And then I'm taking the e Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in the shade Neutral or Medium. And I'm also taking my recent favorite, which is my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. I'm in love with this. I use her every single day. And then moving into my brows, I'm taking my Benefit Cabral in the shade 5. And my High Brow from Benefit as well. And then my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade of Medium Dark to set my brows and color them in a little more. And I've got that exact combo on my eyebrows today. So for my primer, I'm only taking one, only because I thought I can also use a facial cream as a primer if I really, really need to. But other than that, I'm just taking my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So let's go ahead and pop these into its case. As you guys can see, I'm not sure where I want to put what, but we're going to go ahead. By the way, this one doesn't have a price, but I'm pretty sure it was $12. Don't quote me. $12 or $9. I wouldn't pay anything more for this. So in this little section over here, I'm thinking of putting my, let's go in with my primer. So then my face products and then my foundation. And then we'll put in my eye cream as well, because it's tiny. And then we'll go in with my concealers. Put in my brow products as well. So we can most likely put in my eyeliners and my mascaras. I think I can go ahead and fit a little bit more in there. So what do I want to put in? All right, let's go ahead, bite the bullet and chuck in the lip products too. So I'm putting my lip liners and also my liquid lipsticks in there as well. I think that should seal the deal. I don't want to over swallow it. And that's it. So that's that compartment there. In this little mesh compartment, I'm thinking of putting the rest of my face products. Okay, back it up. Then over here, I've got a little compartment over here that I can pop in, hopefully, my setting spray. So the only products that are left, literally, is my palettes. So that's my whole makeup products. So there we go, that fits that. And like I did presume, I think I'm going to pop in my eyeshadow palette, my highlighting palette, my BYS palette and my two Zoeva palettes in here, like that. And in these little two containers, I have put in my brushes. One of them holds my eye brushes and one of them holds my face brushes. So I think I'm just gonna pop them in there like that. And then also in my carry purse, I'll be putting my toothbrush holder from Kmart. All of this is from Kmart, by the way. And then I've tied up some elastic bands over here and my hairbrush. And then I've got face mask. 
and my Sephora face mask that I'll pop into there because I know for a fact my skin's going to get dehydrated. A packet of body wipes. Done. So also from, from Kmart, I also bought this little thing where I've just popped in my strap for my camera, my battery pack, and like the rest of my um, memory cards and everything. So all my memory cards are safe in there. Then I've got my chargers. So I've got my Canon camera in there. I've got my extra lens, my 16 to 55 millimeter lens over here. So that's that. And a few extra hair little springy thingamabobs. So this is my carry case that's gonna go into the plane with me. Exactly set up like that, that I can just pop over and zip up. And then in this section, I'm just going to pop in the clothing that I'm going to wear on the plane. A nice jumper and socks and stuff. A pair of socks. So them, a bralette, an Everlast t-shirt. From Cotton On Body, I have this black mesh sort of jumper that I have posted photos up with. If not, I'll pop a little bit over a head. I'll just grab a jumper. I'm just popping in these shoes, sports shoes that I bought from Ruby Shoes. There we go. So that's the second part of my carry-on case. So my first, my second outfit over there with my shoes, my first outfit and a spare jumper. There we go. That's my carry case for you. So that's done and dusted. Now this luggage I have filled to the brim, but I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff there. So I'm going to do like a little montage of me emptying it out and just sorting out. I'm only going to take three outfits with me and leave the rest there. So let's try to keep it at the very, very bare minimum. We'll see how we go with my clothing.